Welcome back to KTN Prime. To a shocking story in the county of Embu. Now a couple in Embu County was hacked to death by their son and grandson in a dispute over land. The two suspects were cornered by the Embu police with a blood-soaked machete still in their hands minutes before after the attack. The brutal hacking to death of an elderly couple has left Kianganari village in Embu in utter shock. This is after it emerged that the alleged assailants were the couple's son and grandson following a land dispute. Shinda ni shamba tu naonekana na shinda hii. Kuko na shinda ya shamba kidogo na ndipoza mzee yu akapoteza maisha. Mbugu Muragara, aged 98 years old, and his 53-year-old wife, Jen Joki, were reportedly attacked at their home at around 8.30 by the two. Screams from the Muragara's home caught the attention of neighbors. Alarmed, they rushed over to help, only to be met by the two suspects, who at the time were armed with blood-soaked machetes. <laughs> Kami ni dikuah watan, wih fikuf fikah apa? Nika kuda musa apa? Amerara, kaingi apa? Kau ambau mai apa? Nika kuda uyo mama Amerara na mekatakatu. It is alleged that Timothy Kamau, aged 50, and his son Anthony Mungendi, aged 25 years, had repeatedly issued death threats to the elderly couple. If witness accounts are anything to go by, they had finally made up their minds to make good their threats. Musa alipatikan lagi aboma. Akiwa ana kura ana kura chakura ya jioni na bibi yake naye alikuwa amekatiwa wakati alikuwa jikoni. Ah uh, polisi walifika pale na uchunguzi ukaanza na ndipoza ah uh, kupatikana ya kwamba ah uh, wanaye alikuwa chukiwa kuhusika uh, ni kijana ya hiyo mzee mmoja na Embu East OCPD Njoroge Mbogwe confirmed the incident, further revealing that so brutal was the attack that the two bodies had been decapitated. The land dispute is said to have escalated when the old man remarried following his first wife's death. The OCPD said police arrived at the scene and after a search found the two of them hiding in an adjacent house, weapons in hand. Trix Ingado, KTN News.